story last week was the flag planting. We saw it at four different games. We've seen the Big Ten find Ohio State and Michigan $100,000. The ACC find its schools an undisclosed amount. I've been told commissioner is going to try to get together and do something regarding sportsmanship and some uniformity around the sport. All right, Pete, that $100,000 is going to be a drop in the bucket for the Wolverines and the Buckeyes for sure. I mean, we can all sit up here and say, hey, look, it's bad. It's a bad look for the sport to get into fights. What do you do about this, Nick? What's the best way to handle this going forward? Well, first of all, I think we need guidelines, but I think to find these schools $100,000 is like worrying about mouse manure when you're up to ears and elephant shit. <laughs> all right, so, you know, there's got to be, we got to have guidelines. I, and I would be more upset with my team trying to plant the flag because I think that's disrespectful and not doesn't show much sportsmanship. You know, you want to defeat the other team, but, you know, this disrespect that everybody wants to show is probably not a good part of the game. And I think you have to protect the brand. You know, if college football players want to be paid, which they're getting paid now, then they have to do something to protect the brand. The NFL protects their brand. So when you do something like this that's bad for the game, it, you got to learn how to protect the brand. Show sportsmanship so people can identify to the game in a positive way. Well said. <laughs> yeah, it's good, hey, You guys, you guys hey, agree with that, huh? Coach, I'm curious <laughs> this, from this past weekend, as a head coach, would you be more upset with your team if they planted a flag, or would you be more upset with the teams that were reacting? If you were the head coach, which one? I, I would be much more upset with my team planting a flag okay. because I think coaches can control that. You know, okay. I mean, if you tell your team we're not doing this, what they're about, not going to do what, it. What? It's no different than, you know, faking injuries. You know, coaches, in, you know, can stop that. They can stop this. So, and I think it's good for the game if we do stop it. Yeah, I, I think... It's a bad look for the sport, what we all watched. And, and you know, it wasn't just Ohio State, Michigan. It seemed to go on yes. throughout the whole of the other day. Games. Yeah. Uh, other games, a lot of yeah. places. I, I yeah. think if you prevent, if you make that a rule where you can't right. plant the flag, yeah. maybe that's a start. Right. If, if the home team in those rivalry games, you know, the police get out there and, and yeah. kind of protect that, if that becomes a new thing, Boom. you Boom. can maybe do that. Yeah. Well, 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 Coach, I, um, you know, I'm all about celebrating, right? And they, that's pretty much like they celebrate everything nowadays. If they get a first down, you would think they scored a touchdown. <laughs> that's right, exactly. <laughs> they score a touchdown, you think they won a Super Bowl. And then if they win a game, that's the way of celebrating. So to me, that's the culture now. And I, I always have a problem with the reaction. So if a team, like if say if a group of guys go in the end zone and they start to do their thing posing and say the other team comes in and starts to fight, like what happened with the flag planning. Do you say, well, now you can't entertain uh, the posing in an end zone? No, because they're not wrong. You may not like what they did. You may not like that they planted a flag, but they're not wrong. The wrong people are the one who goes and starts to instigate a fight. Those are the guys who are wrong. So, though I don't, I'm not crazy about it, I would have a bigger problem with my players going out there starting to fight. Your players would never do that. Our teams would never do that because we had too much respect for Coach Schimbeckler, for Coach Moeller, for our coaches. So we'd never do it. we just take that L. But now there's a culture where, and we're discussing this, I almost like, well, it's okay that they went out there and started that ruckus. I agree with you 100%, Kirk. I think every stadium's job is to protect the players. Yeah. I don't care how many officers you need to, do, you need to uh, uh, employ, but what happened, especially in Columbus, because that's the only place where it happened, and they actually used, I don't know, pepper spray, whatever it was, on players, which is over the line to me. So you have to have enough officers, security, whatever the case may be, to break up that situation. If it's planting the flag, if it's guys want to, like, go out there and pose, whatever it is that causes the ruckus, you should immediately be able to take care of that. That's the problem. Yeah, I think there's, you know, obviously a lot of different angles to talk about this conversation. And I think I'd like to go back to the fact that, like, I was on a couple teams and very small part of the team. Obviously, I'm a specialist. But our West Virginia team, there was a lot of teams that wanted to fight us. Okay, before games, people wanted to fight us. After games, not so much, but in warm-ups, there was always something. And we had a lot of guys on our team that were going to show up for our team. 
You want to disrespect us? We are going to show up and say, nah, you're not doing that. So I think the easiest way to get rid of this is if you ban the flag planting across the entire country, okay? So then there is not even an opportunity for somebody to feel like they must defend this house because I saw Jack Sawyer, 33 for Ohio State, he goes over against Michigan and there's that emotional clip where he's like, I'm not letting them plant a flag on my field again. It's like, you want that passion? That was the PG version. You, yeah, you want people <laughs> to protect their building, you want people to still have loyalty yeah. to a brand in the transfer portal era, but I think if you just get rid of the flag planting, ban it, then everybody knows yeah. the rules That's and true. hopefully you get away Yeah, well, he from did that <laughs> though. Yeah. Ryan Day was standing there flat-footing, yeah. didn't do he's, anything. But, yeah. but the, the thing from Ryan's perspective, it was hard for him to see what was happening but I think that I'm all for players being able to celebrate. Yeah. But Here's taunting is a penalty. So if you taunt a player, yeah. that's a penalty. Yeah. yeah. So if you plant a flag, you're actually taunting the mm -hmm. tradition of the school yeah. if you do that right. in their logo. So think about this. I, yeah. I, I think you have to draw the line between celebration and taunting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think about this season, flag planting. Fans throwing bottles at, at, on the field, players fighting, players spitting on each other. Let, let, let's try to return to civil, civility and just uh, sportsmanship. What, yeah, what, what's wrong civility, with you're right. Well, you, know, you, you, brought, you brought up the point, the players getting paid. But you can have some personal responsibility as the player, too. We all say, well, you got to make a rule. you got to stop them from doing this. Oh. Coaches can stop it. And the players, how about taking a little personal responsibility? And by the way, Somebody exactly. comes out and plants a flag. That's like slapping you in the face. Don't act all surprised when they come back and punch you in the nose. That's Don't come all surprised about that. <laughs> that you know, you plant the flag, you're insulting saw, them. You're going to get punched in the grill. That's the way it goes. We saw some guys get put in the blender, too. Well, that's the way it goes, man.